about three parts of the land in front of Deem to Fire was always in touch. The one who was racing wide of the track, there was Honey Crisp, and you had uh, Anne's boy who came under pressure at the bend, and Mother's Love was uh, being pushed around as they entered the home straight. It's Third Avenue gets the first run, takes the shortest way towards the inside, stuck to the inside railing. At this juncture, Deem to Fire is being pushed into the lead on the outside by C.S. Joda. But uh, Third Avenue kicks away about length and a half, two lengths, uh, running a little green into the last 250. But uh, Third Avenue kept on finding more, and uh, Deem to Fire could only finish on second. There was a slight battle for the third place in uh, between Honey Chris and Mother's Love. Honey Chris just uh, managed to uh, get the better of Mother's Love there. I'll hand it over to the judges' box for the final placing for the opening race of the afternoon, the satellite handicap. Jinsuku is making the pace here. Legend Returns is uh, in second in box seat. And uh, Adorinda still about a length and a half adrift. And on your screen, you can see Tomorrow Forever almost coming to a halt. At the end of the home straight now, Jinsuku tries to get away from the field, but quickly challenged by Adorinda. Legend Returns perhaps needed this run, was a little flat footed as they enter the home straight. And Adorinda now takes charge, goes about a length or so clear. The one who really moved up eye-catchingly there is unstoppable. Was uh, in interfered with in a, for a moment, but uh, got the inside run. Adorinda really uh, drew away from the field, but the one really for your notebook should be unstoppable. So that's your top two. We will hand it over to the judges box for the final placings for the Coxcomb handicap. Negotiating the 600 meters, we got Indian Tiger in front, calling it all the time, Nishk on the outside, pressurizing him, you see the riderless horse coming wide of them all, Ember Glow was just behind Nishk, and when the field comes into the turn, we see Indian Tiger in front being nudged a bit by Haseeb Alam, Nishk comes with a good run on the outside, he comes to challenge Nishk and then starts lugging in. We got the rideless horse on the outside, possibly could have disturbed the running of Nishk and Indian Tiger. Then we got to see the top picture, we got Amber Glow eating up ground on the outside. On the outside of him was uh, Who Days Wins as well. So it was a very, very close finish between Amber Glow and Indian Tiger. I leave it to the judge. Then we got Nishk who's run third. It's D Night Mice who's enjoying the lead in front. East side moved up on the outside, looked threatening at one stage. We got Harbour Sunrise just behind them. And Dandy Satyagara waiting on the inside patiently with Akshay Kumar astride. When the field comes into the bend, D Knight Mysore goes 3 4 off the fence, giving Dandy Satyagara a dream run down the inside. Taking up the, the initiative was Akshay Kumar. He gave the horse 2 3 backhanders. Then it was just smooth sailing from there. As you can see, Dandy Satyagara. Relish that coming down the inside, got the run, kicked away two and a half, three lengths from the field from the fast finishing centurion who came from the rear, and D Knight Mysore was only third. Still 600, 600 to run, takes over the running. Nazakat's on his outside, Hindu Singh coming between horses on Elani. Robinson Crusoe by this time had already be come off the bridle and he straightened up for the final run in. 400 to run, I mean Merchant, the hands and heels, just settles the protector and gets him to get again on an even keel, pulls out the stick, gives him a couple of reminders and he keeps going right up to the line. So the protector justifying favoritism here, holding on by about a length and a half to Elani who runs second and then another three lengths behind Nazakat finished third. Over to the judges for the final placing. Now, Jeweler calls it from Agnostic, who's very, very prominent in second. Trump Girl is in third on the rails. You've got Mountain Lion moving up in between. And look at Jake. He's about five horses out on the outside at this stage. But when they straighten up, Akshay Kumar just asks him for an effort. He's not even shaking him up. And the son of wind legend just quickens and goes into top gear as he walks away from them. Two, three, four, five lengths and... The race is all over here, bar the shouting. The rest of them are all in hopeless chase. So Jake, trained by Vijay Singh, the property of Subir Das Gupta, ridden by Akshay Kumar, has come out and stamped himself as one of the favorites here for the, Colts, for the Guineas. 
as he wins in great style from Mountain Lion, who's second, and Trump Girl is third. Six hundred from home. Some she sword had run its race. The one who moved wide of the track avoided all traffic. Traffic there was infinite and beyond. Night secret came under pressure as they entered the last four hundred. Took the turn, and at this juncture, daring heart has moved into fourth. They entered the last four hundred. Some she sword tries to still uh, stick on down the center. There is a eastern crown. The one who's really looking good at this juncture. There was infinite and beyond. And Daring Heart, almost out of your picture, came wide of the track. And into the last 200 meters, it was almost a three horse in a line as they passed the 100 a distant post. But Daring Heart was really moving better of the two as they entered the last 50 meters. Hindu Singh drove him to the victory. We will hand it over to the judges' box for the results of the Usher handicap.